Um, hello. Tiana, you are on trial in our doll room. Why am I on trial? I didn't do anything. You're a brat. And the brat's line, me, I feel like could be the reason our beloved Shadow High could have possibly gotten canceled. Um, I just happen to be from a line made by the same company as you. What makes you think I have anything to do with this? Well, whenever brats start coming back, and MJ, MJ started finding his big brats come back. The Rainbow High rebrand had, had rumors about it. Then it happened. And then there has been these trademark notices about Shadow High and Rainbow High Junior High. Possibly getting canceled. Your line could have killed our world. Naomi, why are you tormenting her? She didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, your sister's right. I did not do anything wrong. <laughs> so why are you putting me on trial? Because your line could have killed our line. My sister is just worried that MJ is sacrificing our line to fuel your line. She's just worried, that's all. Naomi, you're being crazy right now. Please, think about this. Yeah, I just happen to be from a different line than you. You can't just do this to me. I one of our kind suffering. Ugh, it's the goth freaks again. What are you doing torturing her? Um, your line could be the reason our line is our suffering. Us? We didn't do anything. No. We're just a bunch of brats. You can't do this to us, Naomi. As much as I don't like the Tweevils, they are right. We're innocent. It's not our fault. MGA is focusing on our line over yours. This is something none of us have any control over. Our mommy thinks MJ should be treating Rainbow High and Bratz as equals. Yeah, that'd be good, but it seems like they aren't, and it's just... Something we all have to face. <sighs> Seems like another reboot, rebrand situation thingy. Uh, where are your witnesses? Um, series one Ruby here. How, can you prove your series one? Like, really, prove it. Well, I'm from 2020, and I don't have, I do not have piercings. Therefore, I am an official Series 1 Ruby from 2020. It's a face shimmer and everything. And I look fabulous in these boots. So... I'm sorry, the twins are getting a little crazy. As the first Rainbow High doll in this room, I feel like I should have a say in this. 
Uh, what is your say, Ruby? Naomi may be upset, but... I've heard of things happening like this before. First, it's... First, it was the Monster Heist. With their reboot in 2016. Uh, you're going to talk about a reboot and you didn't invite me. Oh, sorry, Cleo. Yeah. Our reboot was a dark one. It wasn't good. And let's just say Monster High fandom went crazy over it. And the hate for Monster High Gen 2 was really nasty. Our own our time was obviously devastated, as were many other Monster High fans. Although I've spoken with Gen, Gen 3 Cleo, and it doesn't seem as bad as it have us happen with Gen 2. So you're telling me your line got significantly worse after its, its reboot? Then it got another review that improved it. Yeah. That's why Monster High will never die. That, that's why it's so legendary. Um, it wasn't your line like made to compete with Bratz. Yeah, our line and my scene definitely have connections to Bratz. There's definitely something there. Um, Ruby, I'm sorry your line is suffering like this. It hurts to watch the reboot happen, or rebrand, as you're calling it. I just hope that your company decides to improve on this unfortunate situation. I know. My friend Poppy has also been excluded from it for some reason. And it's really sad what, what they're doing. It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like what it was in the beginning. I know what it was in the beginning. Because I'm the oldest room behind all in the room. Yeah. I feel you. I'm sorry you're having to experience what you're having to experience. I wish you the best of luck with it. Well, Cleo, didn't you try to get mad at us in another video on the channel? Look, this situation is dire, and let's just all put this drama behind us. I'm just here to warn you about the how how reboots can affect people. They're sad, tragic events that happen to various doll lines. Normally they happen after a few years. Most doll lines Yeah, most doll lines only make it a few years before they get cancelled. And seems like Miram High hasn't really reached its end, but so you're telling us that our line could be nearing a possible negative fate. Yeah. Unless things look up. And it depends if this cancellation is even confirmed to be real. Because right now it's just trademark stuff, right? Yeah, we're hoping it's just trademark stuff.
you guys are lucky to have all your friends in this room. I'm just going to let you know that. And I've had to watch my own doll line go downhill. So, so you're experienced with this kind of thing. Yeah, I am. So after, like, Monster High ended, they decided to make this abomination called Enchantimals. It was horrific. Then everyone started blaming Mattel's, like, lack of budget to make better dolls on them losing the Disney Princess license. Yeah, it was a time. So why do you think MGA isn't fo is not focusing on our line? Maybe because some stores seem to have overstock when it comes to shadow high dolls. Maybe it's because some people up at, at, at the company think it's not doing that well. That is fake. Look, our downline line is amazing and people love it. Some people only seem to think about numbers. Companies are cruel like that. Even the Monster High reboot was cruel. Wait, didn't Ever After High, like, get... Weren't they the first to go? Yeah, they were the first to go. How dare talk about my line without inviting me. <laughs> oh, hello, Crystal. Is that a real Ever After High doll in here? Yeah, I am. M my, my name's Crystal Winter. Can you prove you're a real Ever After High doll? Um, why would I have to prove that? I mean, look at me. Look at my proportions. Even look at my glue seepage issue. If I wasn't real, I wouldn't have some, some kind of glue seepage. So, Crystal, what do you even remember about the cancellation of your line? I remember it happened before the original Monster High reboot of 2016. There was a soft reboot of Ever After High. And when that reboot failed, it got canceled. Seems like what Rainbow High is going for right now. Yeah, a lot of people, I think it's a soft reboot or a rebrand. Just make it more aimed at kids. That's what it looks like to me. Not a major change in theming, but a change in the quality, making it more aimed at kids. And the twins said they're putting most of their energy into brats now. That, that seems like it. How old are the brats anyways? Oh, they're like, that, that line's way older than your line. The original brats w w were released in 2001. The Bratz line has existed since like 20 years ago. Not to mention it went for a, re a failed reboot of its own. Yeah, good point, Tiana. Good point. And it had various spinoff lines trying to compete with our line. With Monster High. Wasn't there that one about witches? 
Oh, yeah, Bratzilla's. Thank you again for that. There are just so many Monster High imitation lines. It's hard to remember them all. So you're telling me this is all just a normal reboot, rebrand situation? Yeah. No need to put anyone on trial, Naomi. Seriously. I know how intense you and your sister get in here. Wouldn't it be a good image for you to do that. Well, MGA has certainly failed her line recently. They took away its darker, edgier aspects. They've made it more colorful. And now this trademark thing. We don't want our line to end. No, no doll I wants that. You know, I'm just fortunate that Mazari got an act actually a not terrible reboot. I mean, you invited Twilight into the Goth Waifu Club. Of course, you feel like it's not that bad. Yeah, the fact that I was welcomed into the club shows that I, my reboot is not that bad. That is one good reboot. Most of them just are, are awful. See, I've been in this room years before you ever arrived in here. I've seen doll lines begin and end. I was in here before the, the doll dark ages occurred. Oh yeah, the dark ages were pretty horrible. Wait, didn't LOMG kind of bring dolls back, cash dolls back? They did, but... I hope MJ doesn't remove Ritz articulation on them. Oh, I doubt it, because they're all also focusing on, on our line, it seems. It seems have not been as, as affected. And most kids are more familiar, more, more familiar with Alice, Alice Price and Rainbow High, so. So we're probably more relevant than you financially to the company or something. Oh, Moonlight BB, I thought you take our side. I'm just stating facts here. I don't know, maybe your situation is happening because your dolling is so niche, but. Trust me. And with the loss of articulation on the tweens in our line, I do worry that I, I am thankful the OMGs did, did, did not lose wrist articulation. As my line has not experienced a reboot, I can't say much here. Well, that was interesting. Look, I'm sorry for rushing to conclusions, okay? Me and my sister are just upset over this situation. And our doll mommy is upset. She intensely dislikes the rebrand. 
and any idea of a possible cancellation of a prepared doll line. Well, I'm from a doll line that's got like canceled before and I'm still around, right? Yeah, same. Just because dolls are being sold on store shelves anymore doesn't mean it's lost its value to people. That's not what we're worried about. We're worried that MDA, MDA won't make any more Shadow High dolls in the future. Our mommy always said that. Completing her Shadow High collection feels a little bittersweet to us because she never wanted its like end. These are difficult times with difficult changes ahead. Every good doll line could eventually come to an end. It seems like this is your first time encountering that. It is. It is. And it's painful. And see Rainbow High reverting back to something worse than what it was in Series 1 saddens us as well. Well, at least we have better versions of the dolls we like in the room. Yeah, at least there's that. So, are you going to let Tiana off the hook? Yeah, I did not do anything wrong here. Tiana, you may be from a doll line that MJ is focusing on right now. And I'm sorry for accusing you. I know it's not your fault what's happening with your line. And I'm so sorry. I feel so horrible for talking to you like that and judging you based on the doll line you're from just because I was upset. Yeah, my sister can be quite impulsive. Well, I guess my work here is done and If, if you need it, I, I'll have your back. Change can be difficult. I'll be here too. Well, they're not... Well, they're actually pretty nice. They are. I'm used to all trying to put me on trial. Yeah, you did. Tweevils? My sister was upset, okay? And we know it's also not your fault either. The decisions the company makes. You're just dolls that have me from the Bratz line. You didn't cause any of this rebrand stuff to happen. And it seems no one can change the fact that MJ seems to be, be focusing on brats now. Well, I guess that's a win for us then. Yeah. Really, you have to rub it in our faces. You have to. Me and my sister have been through so much on this channel. We have. And we don't need you. Tormenting us over our doll line's possible cancellation. This is a sad day, a sad event for us, for the whole Shadow High shelf, 
for Rainbow High Shadow High collectors everywhere. And you're acting like it's a win for you. Tweevils, show some respect. Show some dignity. Now we know why people don't think you're always Bratz dolls. Because the Bratz at least have respect and dignity. You two are just mean. We are not just mean. We are the Tweevils. And we have a job and an amazing internship. We don't care that you have an internship. You're just being mean here. You didn't even contribute anything to this. Was it just a little rundown? We've been around. Brass has been around for longer than your line. Brass has a bigger audience among adult collectors than your line. It's also supported by a lot of no, no, very nostalgic adults and people who like Y2K stuff. So. We admit, us as Shadow High Dolls are not the most familiar with brats. We mainly address our own line more. Sometimes you gotta acknowledge your elders and your history. And yeah, we're well aware that Bratz got MJ where it is today. We also were the first line to challenge Barbie. Yeah, there's that impressive accomplishment too. So Naomi, do you now apologize for putting me on trial? Yeah, I'm sorry, okay? Just... And he won't do it again. No, I'm not. You've shown that you're... That you're another MJA doll just like us. And that this rebrand stuff isn't solely the fault of your line. We just have to come to terms with it. Yeah, this isn't going to be an easy thing for us to deal with. Or friends to deal with. And don't forget us Rainbow Highs have to deal with this firsthand. Alright. Trial over. Tiana is innocent. And we had nice talk, and we had a fun time talking it out. Well, goodbye, Mr. Science. I love you. Naomi loves you, and she's sorry she falsely accused a Bratz doll of the rebrand stuff. And well, that was the video, and we hope you enjoyed it, and it provides some introspection into what's going on.